Good morning, good people. Mark Holtz here, and as always, I want to thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Network, I guess we could say, of what we do here. Um, it is Thirsty Thursday. It is week number eight. We are closing in on a month, excuse me, two months of doing keto. Um, I was not here until... Um, yeah, today's Friday. Not Thursday, Thursday, Friday. I didn't say Thursday, Thursday. You said Thursday, Thursday, today's Friday. Okay, if I said Thursday, Thursday, then I'm wrong, sorry. I said I was down the country where actually probably on a weekly basis I'll spend at least one or two nights a week on the road. Um, and that's going to be challenged because I'm actually staying in the uh, motel. And the problem is, is eating keto when you're on the road. What I did yesterday... Okay, let, let me back up. Okay, so right now, this morning, I'm still sitting right at 254. I'm like literally stuck because I haven't really been able to do my keto the way I'm supposed to do my keto. Um, so I'm still just kind of hovering at that 253, 254 number, which is, I'm not complaining. I'm not complaining. That's like 15, 16, 17 pounds off, oh, but it's not getting down any lower. Um, Yesterday, I fasted because the uh, the motel we have, they have actually like a, a little breakfast. They've got cereal and uh, fresh fruit and um, coffee, of course, uh, none of which you could have, yogurt and things like that. Um, so... Um, what I did was... I just filled up my coffee thing and just had coffee all day. Uh, we ended, me and Mike ended up doing a bunch of demo work um, on the Red Brick House and going to the dump a couple times and things. So we were active and drove home. And, of course, um, needing to get my uh, uh, get, getting something to eat because I got home late, we went to Chipotle. Now, the great thing about Chipotle is, for me, Chipotle it is like a laxative because the next day it's going to take care of business, which is good because sometimes you get bound up. Now, as far as the first day I was down there, um, I just had my coffee, went down the road, worked all day, and we ended up going to Outback. So my buddy Jet V there, which was great. It would have been, I, I could have been perfectly keto there, but unfortunately it had that black pumpernickel bread. As soon as I sat down, it's right in front of me. So I said, okay, I guess this is a cheat day now. So I ate basically one of those whole rolls of, of bread. And then Jet ordered a blooming freaking onion. So I ate a few pieces of blooming onion. Other than that, though, I did get steamed vegetables and I did get the prime rib. I have not done a test strip to see if I'm out of ketosis or not. Probably, I don't know. I don't know if that was enough to kick me out of it. But uh, we'll find out. Um, later on today when I do a test. So at least I haven't put on any more weight, haven't lost any more, but I'm still at least trying to figure this out. Snackage wise, here's what sucks. It's everything is set against you when you do keto. So coming up the road, it was, you know, uh, we left at like 4.30 or so. We had a couple of stops we had to make. Um, we stopped off at Sheets. You know, Lord knows, you, you got to give your arm, right arm and arm and leg to buy gas now. But we stopped off at Sheets and, of course, have a rest stop in there. But when you go in, have you noticed that there's literally like, it's like a corridor to the bathroom where there's like every kind of potato chip in the world on one side and every kind of cookie, uh, candy bar and all that stuff through there. There's very little that you can find that's actually good keto. They, they, you know, you can find some pork skins. You can find, you know, some beef jerky, but you gotta be careful with some of those because sometimes they put a lot of sugar into them. Um, you can find some nuts and cheese. And then they have those hard boiled eggs, but they look like they've been hard boiled like, you know, three weeks ago. They look, the color does not look like normal. And so it's kind of like, do you really want to eat that stuff? I mean, it just looks bad. Um, so it's difficult 
doing that on the road, but I'm not going to have a choice because I am going to have to get that house together. Um, it was actually great because we actually did get a little bit of demo done. We found some old newspapers that were 70 years old in the floor, and we got a lot of wood that we're going to repurpose for the house. And as soon as the building permit comes through, which should be next week, um, we're going to start actually, we're going to have to tear off the kitchen roof <clears throat> to uh, tear off the kitchen roof so that way we can um, go through and rebuild it so that way it'll be uh, sturdy. So we definitely are going to be on the go where we have to do a lot of work that um, do a lot of work and stuff on the road and, and basically living in motels until we get it done. But I guess if I can, if I go Tuesdays and come back Thursday, that's two nights away. Um, in the motel, there is microwave, there is a refrigerator. I guess what I'm going to need to start doing is really, and economically, instead of trying to get stuff at 7-Eleven or the gas station, shop and try and do things that would be geared towards it. Um, maybe start like grilling like some steak or some chicken and things like, you know, maybe just go ahead and do a whole bunch of chicken, like maybe do jerk chicken and maybe put it in freezer bags. So maybe what I do is, you know, make a salad to take down the road there and then I can warm up the chicken or the steak and then I can have, you know, a good keto salad because going out to dinner, good Lord, um, that's a big expense as well. And even though you're eating and saying, oh, I'm getting a steak and all this, you don't know what the sauce and the seasoning are. All that stuff can end up having carbs and sugar in it as well. So I'm going to have to do some work to make this continue to work on a regular and make it affordable. Because I tell you what, I can't afford to eat out on a regular basis. That adds up. Just the Chipotle last night. Chipotle for three people. Because I do get double the protein. I got the chicken and the steak. By the time you do that with everybody, it's like almost $50. $50 is like, damn. $50, I could make lobster bisque, you know, and still have money for, you know, something else. So, yeah, we've got to figure this out so we can save some money. So, coffee's almost ready. We're going to see what Stephen Jones screws up today. We're going to get back in the workshop because I've got some pieces that will be, I've got to finish and get out into the mail. And it's going to be 75 degrees. So, today, after I get started, hmm. I'm going to get my coffee, I'm going to do my first video, I'm going to go to the workshop, get the inventables going, and then I'm going to surprise my wife and say, hey, let's go for a walk, and um, go for a walk, and then maybe do some, go out in the backyard here, I've been slowly doing a little bit of cleanup as the weather has gotten warmer, although it's crazy because literally it was 68 degrees one day and then snow the next, so for all I know, it might be snowing this weekend, that's just the way the weather's been this spring so far but spring is close literally next week so that's all i got you guys are now up to speed how are you guys do, doing on your keto I, I apologize i haven't been able to do much cooking i need to transfer from more of the recipes from the other channel on here so that way if i'm not cooking live you do have some other ideas oh and also too a friend of ours judy 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 she introduced us to spaghetti squash and um, showed my wife how to cook it. And when you cook it, it's, you, you take a fork and it's stringy, just like spaghetti. So we're gonna be trying some spaghetti squash recipes next time. And looks like my coffee is done. I need to go to the store because with me going out of town, I didn't go regular grocery shopping, so I don't have any of my whipped cream. And I gotta get some more fresh vegetables in here to cook and stuff and restock. So, here's to you guys. Make it a great keto day. And somehow I need to lose four pounds by Monday. Peace.